They survived Saturday's truck bomb blast in Mogadishu, but sustained some of the worst injuries. Now some victims have been airlifted to better equipped hospitals in Turkey. Clinics and hospitals in Mogadishu are struggling to cope with the dozens of wounded. From the time the explosion occurred up until now, the government leaders have been working hard to provide the services needed by those injured in the explosion. It's now possible for us to airlift 16 of some of the seriously injured in the attack to our brothers in Turkey. A truck loaded with explosives was detonated at a security checkpoint in the capital. Somalia's president is blaming the armed group Al-Shabaab. And Mohammed Abdullah Famajo is vowing the country won't be demoralized by the attack, which caused the highest number of casualties in two years. The magnitude of the damage caused by the blast led the Prime Minister of Somalia to request assistance from the Turkish government to provide treatment to those injured in the attack. A Turkish military transporter landed with much-needed supplies and medical staff. Some will stay to treat patients at a Turkish-run hospital in Mogadishu. As Turkey seeks to boost its influence in the Horn of Africa, it's been an increasingly important aid donor, especially since the Somali famine in 2011. As more aid arrives and the badly injured leave, the country is on edge. Somali is constantly wondering when and where the next attack will be. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera.